Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. It is a powder day across the west. Let me start with radar. Snow will continue pretty much all day today into tonight with a reinforcing front tomorrow. This is radar in Colorado. The mountains block a lot of the radar, but you can still see blue over the top of the mountains. With this flow, we're going to see additional accumulation. Um, all the way uh, through Monday in Colorado. Let me take you over to Utah. So your big push of snow, you had about two feet overnight, um, is come and gone. But now you're going to see this this continuation of this this flow right along that Arctic boundary that will continue to squeeze out and lift the air just enough to get snow to keep snow going um, through tonight into tomorrow morning across a lot of the Wasatch. It won't be as heavy as what we saw overnight but it will still continue to lift the air just a little bit so up in the veil area looking at at least a foot of snow up there this is the back bowls i know i've got a good friend of mine skiing today instructing up there and and he said it's going to be unbelievable so big powder day and you've got potentially another foot on the way but before all is said and done here's um, alta two feet of snow overnight at least and again that that snow will continue um, all the way through this afternoon tonight and into tomorrow morning before coming to an end. So let me just take you over to my uh, headlines here this morning. Here's what I'm seeing. Snow will continue into 115 for Colorado and Utah, and it may come back as well in the Tetons. Probably not until this afternoon tonight, but it will, I think, to some degree come back with some, um, some light um, to moderate accumulations um, tonight into tomorrow morning in the uh, the Tetons. A reinforcing front comes in on Monday. It's another shot of cold air, and that's what will keep a lot of the snow going. It's just another boundary. The next storm system looks really good, 117 to 118 with a nice west-northwest orientation. And the Pacific pattern opens up 120 to 123. Um, that's a whole different thing, so I'll explain that coming up. But let me just show you what this looks like on the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the situation by this afternoon. Notice the snow in the Tetons, the Wasatch, and in Colorado. There we are. Monday at 6, snow continues in many of those areas all the way through the afternoon hours, and it finally exits. Now we refocus. Here comes the storm on um, into the Pacific Northwest. There's 117 in the afternoon. So snow overspreads, west-northwest flow, Tetons, Idaho, northwest Montana, rich into BC, very rich up there in Washington and Oregon. The Wasatch, everybody gets snow with this one. And then it continues into 118 for a lot of the northern tier. And then it uh, wraps up on uh, 118 late in the day. And then this, the flow kind of shifts right here. I'd say between probably 119, maybe 120, and 123, the big Pacific jet's going to open up um, the flow, and it's going to be much warmer across the west as a result. So you can see it in the jet pattern. There it is. You can see the trough diving south. This is 115 tomorrow. That's going to help to uh, remove the storm from the Intermountain West. It'll be on the exit path at that point. Here's 117, that next storm system. A nice flow out of the west-northwest will squeeze out some generous snow over the uh, the Tetons, the Wasatch, and parts of Colorado. Good aura graphics with that. Here's 17, or here's 122, and look at this. Totally different pattern here. Really a subtropical dominance. You can see a nice trough, though. There is a storm system sliding through the west, out of California, into the Intermountain West, somewhere around 121, 122, and that's going to keep some snow going. But keep in mind, it's not going to be nearly as cold as what we're dealing with right now. Um, it's going to be a different quality of snowfall. Here's the, uh, the new grand total map. So the rest of today through 123, you've got uh, great snow. Um, another at least three feet uh, for um, the Little Cottonwood Canyon, and that's going to account for uh, the rest of today, tonight, tomorrow, and then that 117, 118 storm, and probably that Pacific flow down the road. So there's a number of contributing factors. In Colorado, we're looking at potentially still one to two feet yet to go in this flow. Um, pretty rich stuff up in the Teton, especially out of that 117, 118 storm in big snow in BC and the Pacific Northwest, northern Idaho, northwest Montana, 117, 118, and beyond. Once that Pacific flow opens up, you know, you zoom into Colorado along the central and northern mountains. And again, this is grand total between today and 123. We still got one to two feet of snow to go. That's on top of what we got last night. Um, so let's go a little further west into the, uh, the West Elks. And again, still 15, 16, 17 inches to go when you factor in everything between today and 123. Um, so, I mean, that's just excellent to see. All right, let's break it down by period. So today through tomorrow... Uh, potentially another one to two feet in the Wasatch. Um, I might be a little optimistic, but that I think it's possible. In Colorado, another four to 
12 inches potentially uh, on the way there. So still a lot of snow yet to go in Colorado today and tomorrow with that Arctic front lingering over the top. And that's on top of what we've already got. 116 to 119, that other storm brings in heavy snow in the Pacific Northwest in BC and some really good snow over the Tetons, the Wasatch, and another 4 to 10 in the central to northern mountains of Colorado. Um, so here's the late period, 120 to 123, that Pacific flow. Again, warmer, still going to see snow accumulation, potentially 6 to 12 over the top of the Wasatch and, you know, maybe 6 to 12 western and southwest Colorado. Uh, but that's just a different type of flow pattern altogether. Let me show you what this looks like up in the northeast, our final stop here. I don't have a whole lot of snow. There's some shots of light snow, um, 114 today, 116, 119, 120, but no big organized storm systems. Everything sort of passes to the south. Um, in the extended forecast. So guys, enjoy the day. Enjoy all this powder across the west. I'll end on the grand total map. Um, and again, this is what we still have to go between today and 123 with a couple of different storm systems contributing to what you see right here. Take care, guys.